Hey folks, Jason here with RV Miles with a big piece of news in the realm of digital products for RVers and campers. The Togo Group, which operates the Togo RV app, road trippers and more, has purchased Campendium and will begin integrating it into its suite of offerings. I have a lot of details straight from the horse's mouth about what that means for both Campendium users and paid supporters and users of the Togo app or road trippers. So let's jump right in. Campendium is, of course, a website full of tens of thousands of user-submitted reviews of campgrounds and even boondocking and pavement parking. It's been far and away our most used resource over our five years on the road for finding campgrounds. The user reviews are usually well thought out and thorough, and they allow bloggers and YouTubers to link to their reviews, which can give you a really in-depth look at a campsite before you book it. We love the cell signal reports and the ability to search using a whole lot of different parameters like the price and the type of hookups and the various site amenities. We like to know exactly what we're getting into when we book a campsite. Now, the Togo Group is a joint venture between New Zealand's Tourism Holdings Limited and Thor Industries, the world's largest RV manufacturer with nearly 20 brands like Heartland, Keystone, Jayco, Tiffin, and Airstream. Togo's main goal is to make it easier to own and maintain an RV or to take a road trip. And it's been focused over the past few years on rapidly expanding offerings by either creating their own features or acquiring respected companies, the largest being Road Trippers, which is a fantastic road trip planning app enjoyed by lots and lots of travelers. Togo has its own app, which offers RV education, recall alerts, maintenance reminders, and more for RV owners. More recently, Togo purchased the R Village social network for RVers and OvernightRVParking.com, a paid access website full of verified boondocking. They've also added a whole host of discounts for things like tires and lithium batteries and turn-by-turn RV-specific GPS navigation. Now, Togo's in a bit of a battle with the RV Life suite of apps to produce a one-stop shop for trip planning and other services. RV Life also launched turn-by-turn directions at about the same time as Togo, and they have a road trip planning software called RV Trip Wizard. They run campgroundreviews.com, so bringing Compendium over to Togo seems like a sensible response to competition. Now, I should mention right here that Togo sponsors our weekly news videos and Road Tripper sponsors our See America podcast, but this video isn't sponsored by them. I do have an affiliate code for a discount if you're interested. I'll share it at the end of the video. I do think all this investment into services for RVers and campers is fantastic, but there's always a bit of healthy skepticism when big companies buy small independents like Campendium. So I tried to get answers from Togo about how Campendium may or may not change for the end user. The short answer is not much. Campendium will continue to operate independently by founders Lee Wetzel and Brian Easterling. It will still be free to use with a continuation of that supporter tier that offers a few additional features like map layers and search based on cell service. It's also ad free for supporters. Eventually, Campendium supporters at $20 per year will have access to the full suite of Togo Plus offerings, which includes the navigation, Road Trippers Plus, and overnight RV parking. But that integration will probably not happen until at least late 2021, the folks at Togo tell me. If you do go that route, that's a smoking deal because Togo is $39.99. I'd imagine eventually that will change to bring prices more in line and Togo Plus users will eventually have access to the Campendium supporter features as well. Whether you're a paid member or not, your Togo login, which they call a road pass, will be able to be used on Campendium.com just like it works for road trippers and all the other websites. Other than that, most users won't notice many changes, I'm told, other than the fact that Campendium will have some more cash to play with and more reach. We'll soon start seeing Campendium reviews and locations filter into the Road Tripper software and Togo RV app. And I was very pleased to learn that Togo plans to continue a lot of Campendium's philanthropic initiatives like cleaning up public lands. So that's what I know. If you do want $10 off Togo RV Plus, the code is RVMILES10X and I'll put it in the description below. If you want more updates like this, click that subscribe button. And remember, likes are for me, not for the news, and they're free. Here's a video about things people overlook when they buy new RVs, and here's a random one that you haven't watched yet. What are you waiting for? See you next time.